Hey guys, what's up? I am here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of NN no Shobutai, or you can call it Fire Force on episode 16. Now this episode right here, looks like to me we finally gotten a snake or a mole in the Fire Force gang. Well, it was kind of a little like, um, speculated, a little speculated or somewhat hinted at after what happened in last week's episode, but... It wasn't really exact until maybe it was confirmed in this episode. We have to it that Giovanni is really planning to kill um, Vulcan, you know? I mean, like, um, he gave him a couple chances, but decides but decides to get rid of him. And we get to know that he thinks that um, Vulcan has the key to get to that power plant whatsoever. As for Vulcan, he's pretty much having his time with his, like, um, with his friend Yu-Chan, etc., but... We see to it that, like, um, Shinra, on the other hand, tells Arthur and and Iris about the situation, and he believed that he had this kind of hunch the last time he was in that place of where Fire Force maybe seven, Benimaru's place or something, was happening. Like, that thing of, like, signal giving to him or something's gonna happen kind of thing. I'm pretty sure you guys may get the idea of what I'm talking about. I mean, like, um... He's had it intuition, or should I say, like, a hunch that Giovanni's gonna kill Vulcan, and he had this hunch again, like, um, when he had, when he was at Benny Maru's place. <clears throat> Sorry for being a little confusing. Anyways, Shinra says that Giovanni's planning to kill Vulcan, and that's the reason why he's going to stay behind, and he asks Arthur and Iris to go, to go let, um, let the other Fire Force the Fire Force team know. But apparently Shinra ends up finding Giovanni. But doesn't know it was him exactly. And he gets electrocuted after being tricked a couple of times. And freaking hell Shinra. You never learn do you? My goodness gracious doc. Anyways. Um, Vulcan was informed from Arthur and Iris about the situation. And he does not believe them until the situation presents itself. There was two Evangelist members that Giovanni is working with, and it looks like to me he is working with the Evangelist, and they plan to kill him. And we see to it, of course, Vulcan, on the other hand, decides to help Arthur have some delusional kind of thing to get stronger. And it looks like it was working at first, but later on, a couple seconds or minutes later, it started to be very bad because... Arthur will end up losing his delusion and he will realize he looks stupid in the end and he ends up being at a disadvantage later. Later, we see to it that there's actually a mole in Vulcan's family that he considers and that is Lisa herself. And we see to it that girl became undercover to, to keep an eye on Vulcan and wants to find out where the key is at. Giovanni makes an entrance himself and ends up fatally wounding Yuchan or Yukun one of Vulcan's little ap apprentices or little students, and tells him, asks him, where is the key to that place whatsoever? That power plant or that what whatever it is called. But apparently Vulcan's like, I don't know what the hell you even talking about. And this upsets Vulcan very, very badly. He ends up having to beat Vulcan v brutally, and he ends up destroying one of Vulcan's devices, which is something that he worked on ever since he deal with the with his father and grandfather, you know? And yeah. Looks like to me things are looking bleak. Shinra is pos Shinra just got captured. Arthur is like being occupied to by two Evangelius members and Iris is in a total disarray, knowing that we all know her. She's not a fighter. She's just a nun, which all which we all know. And Lisa, that freaking B, female dog. Damn it. Anyways, that's about it, people. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm Afazero. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.